Do you know the safest pair of gloves you can have are the ones you will actually wear when you're handling those hot things or sharp things. What good is a pair of gloves if you have to take them off every time you want to do something fine task with your fingers? Well, I have a pair of gloves you may be interested in taking a look at. These are the Bison Leather Explorer gloves from the company Adirondack American. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on these gloves, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I just want to thank the people at Adirondack American for sending me out the Bison Explorer leather gloves so that I could share them with you. Uh, I guess the question that I want to ask you is why do you want to wear gloves in the first place? I think everybody would obviously say for protection. Protection against what? Sharp things, hot things, falls, blisters, keep your hands a little bit warmer maybe? all good reason for wearing a pair of gloves. But as I mentioned a minute ago, if the gloves you have, you end up taking them off every time you want to do something with your hands, how good are they? Well, that's something that the Adirondack American Gloves have taken into consideration. So what I want to do is just focus in a little bit closer on the gloves, go over some of the key features about these gloves, and show you why these may be your next pair of outdoor gloves. All right, so what's so special about these gloves? Well, to start with, they're made in the U.S. of A from American-raised bison. They are not made from cow leather. Well, what's so special about bison leather that it's worth considering? Well, to start with, uh, it is a full grain leather. It is not an inexpensive cut. It is uh, has no fillers, has no weak spots. They choose nothing but the best hides and the best possible uh, grain of leather from the bison. Uh, number two, bison leather itself. It starts off being thicker than cow leather and it is stretchier than cow leather. So what's the benefit of being stretchier? Well, this is where I talked a minute ago about fit. So when you get a pair of bison leather gloves, they tend to be feel small on your hands. I know mine did, and I actually talked to the company about that and got some suggestions on how to make them fit a little bit better. And basically, bison leather will stretch like deer leather. It will stretch out to fit your hands. So you want it to fit a little bit smaller when you first get them so that over time they will stretch to fit and they have done so. They're just about a pair of driving gloves. All kinds of dexterity and tight or not tight but snug fit. No loose material that can snag on anything. Now the one tip that the people at Adirondack American gave me is use a hair dryer or a one of those paint guns. I used a hair dryer because paint guns can get really hot. Just warm the gloves up. That's all you had to do is warm them up. You don't have to make them smoking hot. Warm them up and put them on your hands and wear them and do this, what I'm doing right now, and they will start to stretch. They're going to stretch over time anyway, so you don't have to do this. This just gets them into shape just that much faster. So uh, yeah, that's the benefit of bison. Thicker, that means more protection against cuts, more protection against burns, uh, and the, you know, they're a durable material and they'll end up fitting better overall. So there's just a few features I want to point out for these gloves that were, I thought were kind of unique. Maybe not unique to these, but certainly a feature worth having. See, the, they have brass grommets right here. Now, I did put a little extra tiny loop of paracord on through them. You don't have to. It just makes it easier for me to get on and off the hook that's on my belt where I carry them on my backpack. But you could put them right on a carabiner right there and it would work just fine. They do have a little bit of elastic here at the cuff just to give it a little bit of snugness around the cuff. Um, well constructed, well made. They are impregnated with a wax type material, put the both of them on again, a wax type material that will keep them from getting too dirty. Now, mine are uh, quite dirty <laughs> from handling things around the fire and doing work. They've got some sap and the like on them from you know, chopping, you name it. So, but they seem to clean up very easily. They don't seem to take stains as badly as my old cowhide ones. And uh, yeah, so in comparison to my old cowhide ones, uh, they're a mess. They're loose to start with. They just feel loose on the hands. Like, if, if you've ever worn a pair of fine Italian leather racing gloves, that's as close as I can get to a description, except these are going to be much tougher. These are, there's nothing delicate about these, but you have almost all the dexterity you would have with fine fitted gloves. And that's actually a really good thing, especially if you're using a knife or you're working with anything with your fingers, you want to have that dexterity 
but you still want the protection. This is the balance that you're looking for between protection and dexterity on the gloves. Nice, nice color too, right? Well, okay, uh, let's wrap this video up. All right, so one more thing I wanna say about the company Adirondack American is that uh, the people who own this, they're not just glove makers, they have a long history of glove making, but they're also outdoor, outdoors people. So their gloves come from their experience in the outdoors and making things that work for the outdoors. So it's nice that they have the experience of glove making and, and being in the outdoors. The other thing is, is they, they have more than just these. This is not the only pair gloves they have. They have some fingerless gloves. They have some heavyweight mitts, great for the winter time. They have a few other styles as well. So what I'll do, of course, is I'll put the information for the specific pair of gloves in the video description, but I'll put a link to their website so that you can take a look at what else is out there. Now, here's the last thing I'm going to say is about value. These are high value. Now, I did look at some of the other gloves that are available, some high uh, price gloves, some good name gloves, ones that you've probably heard before, Hestra, Giver, those gloves. I'm sure they're really great gloves, but I just can't justify spending the amount of money they want on them. I know that your protection of your hands is vitally important when you're out in the woods because if you lose your hands, you're really in a tough spot. But do you really have to spend the kind of money that they want for those gloves to get that protection? I'm not sure that you do. I used to wear cheap leather gloves. I have cheap leather gloves. I still have them around the house. I just don't bring them out into the woods anymore because I've discovered what a good pair of gloves can do for me while I'm out here. This is a good quality pair of gloves, handmade in the US of A and uh, very reasonably priced. Okay, that's all I have to share with you. If you have any comments or questions about these gloves from Adirondack American, put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.